Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on Mendelian Genetics and this is the part 2 of this series of videos on Mendelian Genetics. So the first question of this video that is according to classical genetics which of the following statement is true and the options are option A recessive alleles are detected by the phenotype of the F1 generation or option B the closer two genes are the more frequently they recombine or option C genes on different autosomes segregate independently or option D gene on sex chromosomes segregate with the same pattern as autosomal genes. So the right answer is option C that is genes on different autosomes segregate independently. Okay, so according to classical genetics, which of the following statement is true? The true one is genes on different autosomes segregate independently. Okay, so let's move on to question number 22. So independent assortment of genes occurs due to the orientation of chromosomes at option A, metaphase of mitosis, option B, metaphase 1 of meiosis, or option C, metaphase 2 of meiosis or any phase of the cell division. So the right answer about the independent assortment is option B, that is metaphase 1 of meiosis. So independent assortment of genes occur due to the orientation of chromosomes at metaphase 1 of meiosis. Okay. So let's move on to question number 23, that is genetic mosaics have option uh, these are the <coughs> option uh, these are the options that are option p that is a uh, highly methylated chromosomes option q that is an extra chromosome option r that is an inactivated chromosome or option s that is nucleic containing bar body so among these all statements which combinations of answer is right we have to choose so genetic mosaics have the options are option a q only option b that is r and h statement is the right or option c that is q and r statement is right or option d p q r and s all statements are correct so the right answer about the genetic mosaics is option d that is P, Q, R, S, all these statements are correct about the genetic mosaics. So, the genetic mosaics have a highly methylated chromosome and extra chromosome and inactivated chromosome and nucleic containing bar body. All are related to genetic mosaics. So, let us move on to question number 24. That is, in Drosophila, sex is determined by option A, X and Y chromosomes. Option B, ratio of pairs of X chromosomes to the pairs of autosomes or option C, ratio of number, ratio of number X chromosomes to the set of autosomes or option D, whether the egg is fertilized or develops parthenogenetically. So, the right answer is option C, that is ratio of numbers X chromosomes to the set of autosomes so in drosophila sex is in drosophila sex is determined by ratio of number x chromosomes to the set of autosomes okay so let's move on to question number 25 a disorder which is linked to the y chromosome in humans will option a only be expressed in male whose mothers were a carrier of the gene option b never be paused from father to child or option C show a pattern of skipping generations in a family or option D be paused only from father to son. So the right one is option D that is be paused only from father to son. So a disorder which is linked to Y chromosome in humans that is Hollandrick will be passed only from father to son. So let's move on to question number 26. So which of the following is not true about the human Y chromosome in a male? So the options are option A, it is a single linear DNA molecule. Option B, its genes are known as Hollandrick genes or option C, it is 
packaged it's packaged in nucleosomes or option d during mitosis prior to metaphase it contains only one chromatid so the right answer is option d that is during mitosis prior to metaphase it contains only one chromatid so which of the following is not true about the human y chromosomes that is during mitosis prior to metaphase it contains only one chromatid this is the wrong one okay so the next one is question number 27 that is in drosophila xxy is female in humans it represents an abnormal male because y chromosome induces male traits in humans option b y chromosome is essential for female sex in drosophila or option c y chromosomes is not essential for male sex in humans or option d none of the above so the right answer is option a that is y chromosome induces male traits in humans so in drosophila xsy is female in humans it represent an abnormal male because y chromosome induces male traits in humans okay so next is question number 28 that is the genes c m p and s are linked so suppose these are four genes that are c m p and s so crossover map distance determined by two point crosses are the distance between p and c is 7 s and m is 10 c and m is 8 s and c is 2 and p and s is 5 so the relative positions of these four linked losses are option a p then s then c then m or option b s c p m option c p c s m option d s c m p so what is the relative positions of these four genes that is option a that is p s c and m okay so let's move on to question number 29 determine the frequency of only one genotype that is capital b capital b capital l small l in the offspring of dihybrid parents that is capital b small b capital l small l so the options are option a 1 by 4 option b 1 by 8 option c 1 by 16 option d 1 by 2 so the right answer is option b that is 1 by 8 so determine the frequency of only one genotype capital b capital b capital l small l in the offspring of dihybrid parents is option b that is 1 by 8 okay this is the frequency of one genotype that is capital B capital B capital L small l so let's move on to question number 30 that is if individuals of genotype capital A small a capital B small b capital C small c are intercrossed how many different f2 phenotypes can appear assuming complete codominance at all loci so the options are option a 8 option b 64 option c 27 option d 9 so the right answer is option c that is 27 so if individuals of genotype capital a small a capital b small b capital c small c are intercrossed how many different f2 phenotypes can appear assuming complete co-dominance at all say is 27 is the right one so let's move on to question number 31 and that is in guinea pig black coat color is a dominant trait and white is recessive trait so a uh, black female is test cross producing six black offsprings the probability that a heterozygous black would do this by chance along is approximately option a 50 percent option b 25 percent option c one percent or option d cannot be determined and the right one is option a that is 50 percent so what is the question in guinea pig black coat color is 
dominant trait and white is recessive trait. So, a black female is test cross producing 6 black offspring. The probability that a heterozygous black would do this by chance alone is approximately 50%. Okay. So, next question they can get next is what are the minimum progeny population sizes allowing for random union of all kinds of gametes from capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c parent and the options are option A 64, option B 32, option C 16, option D 8. So, the right one is option A that is 64. So, what are the minimum progeny population? That is a 64 minimum progeny population size allowing for random union of all kind of gametes from this parent. Okay. So, let us move on to question number 33. So, a man is heterozygous capital B small b for one autosomal gene and he carries a recessive X linked allele that is D. So, what proportion of this sperm will be small b small d. So, options are option A 1 by 4, option B 1 by 8, option C 1 by 16 or option D 1 by 2. So, the right one is option A that is 1 by 4. So, a man is heterozygous capital B small b for one autosomal gene and he carries a recessive X linked allele small d. What proportion of this sperm will be cap small b small d that is 1 by 4. Okay, so next is question number 34 that is assuming the comparable chromosomes in different individuals are genetically dissimilar because of different alleles. How many unique zygotic combinations are possible following fertilization in an organism where n equals to 3 assuming that no crossing over occurs? And the options are option 8, option B 16, option C 64, option D 216, 216. So, the right one is option C that is 64 that is the, so how many unique zygotic combination that is 64 unique zygotic combinations are possible following fertilization in an organism where n equals to 3 and assuming that no crossing over occurs, okay. So, let us move on to question number 35 that is a uh, trihybrid cross is made between two east both with genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c. So, what proportion of the offspring will be of genotype small a small a, capital a, small b small b and small c small c and the options are option A 1 by 8 option B 1 by 32, option C 1 by 64, option D 1 by 74. So, the right one is option C that is 1 by 64. So, a trihybrid cross is made between two east both with genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c. What proportion of the offspring will be of the genotype small a, small a, small b, small b, small c, small c that is 1 by 64 that is the proportion. So, the next question is question number 36. So, if individuals of genotypes capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c are intercrossed, how many different phenotypes can appear in their offspring? So, the options are option A 16, option B 8, option C 32, option D 64. So, the right one is option B that is 8. So, if individuals of genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c are intercrossed, eight different phenotypes can appear in their offspring. Okay. So, next question is question number 37. So, if individuals of genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c are intercrossed, how many different genotypes can occur in their progeny? So, option A 8, option B 64, option C 27, option D 9. So, the right one is option C that is 27. So, if individuals of genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c are intercrossed, 27 different genotypes can occur in their progeny. Okay. So, let us move on to question number 38. 
it is one of mendel's pure strain of pea plants had green peas so how many different kinds of eggs could such a plant produce with regard to pea color so options are option a 1 option d 2 option c 3 option d 4 so the right answer is option a that is 1 so one of mendel's pure strain of pea plant has green peas so how many different kind of egg could such a plant produce with regard to pea color that is one okay so the next is question number 39 it is a red flower tall parent plant that is p1 was crossed to a true breeding red flowered dwarf plant that is p2 and half of the progenies obtained was red and tall and the other half red and rough so in the next generation half of all these progenies segregated only for flower color and the other half segregated only for height so the genotype of the p1 is option a heterozygous for color and heterozygous for height or option b homozygous for color and heterozygous for height or option C, heterozygous for color and homozygous for height or option D, homozygous for color and homozygous for height. So, the right one is option A that is heterozygous for color and heterozygous for height. So, in the next generation, half of the all this progeny is segregated only for flower color and the other half segregated only for height so the genotype of the p1 is heterozygous for color and heterozygous for height okay so this is the question number 39 so the last question of this part 2 video that is question number 40 that one so medical genetics as usually abbreviate the normal beta globin gene as b that is small b and the abnormal gene in this case as B0. So, neither of your parents, sorry, neither of your patient's parents has beta thalassemia. So, which of these describe the most likely genotype of both parents? So, option A, 1 is B0 and 1 is B or option B, 1 is B0, B0 and 1 is B, B or option C, both are B0, B0 or both are B and B0. So, the right one is option D, that is both are B and B0. So, medical genetics usually abbreviate the normal beta globin as normal B and the abnormal gene as B0. So, neither of your parents, uh, patient's parents has beta thalassemia. So, which of these describe the most likely genotype of both parents? That is, the uh, both are B, B0. Okay. So, these are all 20 questions of this part 2 video on MCQs on Mendelian genetics. Okay. So, thank you for watching this video.